Another thing that you can do that, uh, that a lot of our customers really like is you can duplicate orders in the system. So if a customer uh, has called you back and they want to uh, order the same thing again, you can go find the order in the list uh, that they asked for. So I'm going to pick this one. And here's an order that was also placed today. I can see that there. I'm going to do a control U, which is the shortcut for duplicate. And uh, what we've done here is we've set it up so that you can duplicate the order with current prices, with original prices, or as a credit. So if I do with current prices, let's say, for example, this order was a couple weeks ago and the prices have changed. If you do that and you click that button, it's going to make an exact copy of that order, except it's going to put today's prices instead of the prices from two weeks ago. Uh, if you want to make a copy of it with the prices that were on the order at the time it was placed, you would click this one. And the other one, which um, a lot of customers really like, is as a credit. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And what you'll see here is that it has made an exact copy of the order, but the quantities have been made negative. So let's say, for example, that the customer returned the last item on this order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight the first item on the order. I'm going to just press delete, and that gets rid of that. And then I'm also going to press delete again, which gets rid of that second line. So now what we've got is we've got a credit for just the last item on the order. You can see that it filled in the original order number at the top here. So this is all set to go. Once I press F10 to save, I've now made a credit against that original order for just the last line. Very, very easy to do.